Hey YouTube Rando here. Today we're going to make a homemade pit burner, uh, or our version of it anyway. It's more or less just a bigger version of our uh, hobo stoves we make out of the number 10 cans. When we started off, we took what's going to be the bottom of it. This is actually the top of the barrel, but since it's a little bit better condition than the bottom, which usually on these used barrels, the top's going to be in better condition, uh, we're going to use the top as the bottom. You can see we have holes marked out all the way around it. We're going to take a small drill bit and start some pilot holes on it and then work our way to a larger drill bit. And start off dead center. get your holes drilled out small so you have a little pilot hole to work with and you can put as many or as little holes as you really want just know that the more holes you put and the bigger they are the better your airflow is going to be uh, airflow sorry so we're going to go ahead and get these drills or these holes drilled out and we'll come back and show you the next step all right so we have all the small pilot holes drilled and I counted, I think there's 35. I may have miscounted, so it may give or take one or two. Uh, but I believe there's around 35 here. And I'm not sure what size these bits are. They're older bits, they're not marked anymore. But you can see the size of this behemoth. And this is the one we started with. So, you know, something about that size right there. And you don't have to use a uh, drill bit, you can use a reamer if, if that's all you have, but for our purposes we're going to use a drill bit. So we're going to start drilling these holes out, and once we get that done we'll come back and I'm going to show you how to mark for the lip. We're going to cut pieces out of this lip to make airways uh, underneath this drum. So we'll go ahead and drill these out with the big bit, and then we'll come back. All right, so our drill bit, our drill went dead. Uh, we was using that larger drill bit, and it was taking quite a while to make it through there. I guess it was really dull, so we switched it out to a little bit smaller bit. It's uh, making it through no problem, but you can see these holes are still pretty small. So after I do this, if I decide that it's not getting enough air, I'll go ahead and pull this and this, the two caps and if it's still not getting enough air then I'll just take this here uh, unibit so I call it a ream or whatever you want to call it and I'll widen out the holes a little bit this goes all the way up to hell I don't know 7 eighths so almost an inch 22 millimeter so that's not bad uh, we may end up doing that too but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the next step and what we're going to do is, is we're going to mark off some airways on this lip. And I definitely want one right here. We're going to cut this lip out with a grinder and leave these lips so it's up off the ground a little bit and gets a little bit of air. And we're definitely going to cut one here. And we're definitely going to cut one here. So I'm going to get these marked out and I'll come back and I'll show you exactly what we marked. I think I'm going to make four. Uh, one on opposite sides of each one and I, I don't know we're just gonna eyeball it so I don't really know how how wide the uh, gaps gonna be but as long as the lip that's still there is sturdy enough to hold it up with you know with it full of wood then I'm happy with it so we'll get that marked out and we'll come back okay so you can see where we have it marked now we have it marked there right there right there and right here and we're just going to cut that out with a grinding disc if you have a cutting wheel uh, you should probably use a cutting wheel if you all you have is a hacksaw you could probably use a hacksaw to do it but this will give it plenty of airflow coming into it and then you'll still have this whole rim and it'll hold it this far off the ground so you got about three quarters of an inch 
and then these are probably six to eight inches somewhere in there I just eyeballed them I didn't really uh, measure anything just kind of tried to get them straight across from each other in a cross pattern so we'll get these cut out and we're gonna get these holes drilled and we'll come back and show you what we have uh, also I may drill some holes around the bottom of it and I forgot to tell you before you start this uh, this had a petroleum product and it had diesel in it if you if you're using a used 55 gallon drum number one make sure you wash it well uh, you don't want you know diesel residue in there when you're throwing sparks around you know not a safe thing to do uh, but also if you're using a used one that's you know got rust on it it's probably only going to last you about six months depending on how much you use it if you have a brand new one brand new 55 gallon drum uh, after you burn it all the paint will burn off if you repaint it with some barbecue paint you might get a year year and a half out of it somewhere in there so uh, we just have plenty of used ones that I can make one every six months and not have to buy a 55 gallon drum we have these drums right here filled to the top with diesel and we have at any given time we have five full and then we'll have five empty ones so uh, we use them for our tractor we get farm diesel in these so we'll get these cut out and we'll get these holes drilled and come back and show you what we have Okay, so instead of grinding this out, what I did is I went ahead and just cut it with a hacksaw as far down as I wanted it. And if you look at this, you can see a gap right there. It's because the steel's not welded all the way up the lip. It's just uh, folded together and then rolled under. So we're just going to leave them like this and, and beat them down. It's going to misshape your barrel just a little bit. That's no big deal. As long as these stay the same height, uh, you won't have any wobble in it. So I just wanted to show you what beat me down. Just take a sledgehammer, cut it down with a hacksaw all the way down to the rim. Sorry. And then uh, just beat it down with a sledgehammer. You know, take your time, do a little on each side, and then do the center, and work it around, and you'll end up with something like that, which is still plenty enough gap. So we're going to get these beat down, and again, we're going to get those drilled out, and we'll be back. All right, so we have all our holes drilled throughout the top of it, and we have all our vents bent down. I went ahead, oh, and by the way, this is a lot quicker than this, so if you have one, use it, and I only went to about right here with the hole, so I could have made them a little bit bigger. The next holes, we're going to drill them to go all the way down with it and uh, make them seven eighths. And where I'm going to put these holes, and it's going to be two each of my soapstone, I'm just going to mark them. Uh, and I'm going to do them right above the vents, maybe, what, about two inches from the bottom. We're going to do that all the way around, and again, we'll drill some pilot holes, and then we'll ream them out to seven-eighths. Uh, also, I'm going to use the soapstone after I get these drawn out, and we'll come back, and I'm going to draw the door out, because this isn't going to be a full 55-gallon drum when I'm done with it. It's going to be a lot shorter, so I'm going to get these drawn up, and then I'll come back and show you how we draw the doors. Okay, so what we've done here 
we've measured out six inches from the top <clears throat> and we marked it about every eight inches or so all the way around the uh, drum now I got my pipe wrap on here and we're just gonna draw a line and get a true line all the way around this thing you can skip this step and just cut it off right here if you want as long as you get below this so you could cut it off right there if you wanted to right underneath this and have it this tall I just don't want it that tall because I don't want to be reaching over uh, to put to stack my wood I, I want to I want it a little bit shorter I want it about the height of a chimney uh, somewhere in there so we'll get this marked and we're gonna come back and draw the door out and then we'll get to cutting on it okay so we have our line drawn around the top six inches from the very top and actually if you remember right this is the bottom that's why I chose to use the top as the bottom because you can see the bottom of this is pretty rough uh, I don't think it'll last that long it's probably already got rust leaks in it holes somewhere in it pinholes even and they'll turn into big holes like that so went ahead and used the top as the bottom but anyways we got the we got it trimmed down six inches all the way around got that marked off and then we marked off a door in here uh, and it's 18 inches wide by nine and a half inches or yeah nine and a half inches deep and we may eventually take that further down because you can see there's still quite a bit of barrel there uh, so we may eventually take it down a little more and maybe even a little bit wider bring it about halfway around the barrel and then just use half the barrel as a heat shield to reflect heat and to block the wind you know so we're gonna get this cut out uh, I think I'm gonna have to use the grinder on this I may just go pick up a cutting wheel right quick from the parts house and cut it out with that cuz I'm damn sure not gonna do it with a hacksaw so as soon as we get this cut out we'll come back show you our finished product okay so we have our door it's starting the cuts on it all the way around we got this side cut we got the top cut and we got the other side cut but I wanted to show you guys something uh, I ended up not going to get a cutting disc and just doing this with a grinding wheel <clears throat> if you're going to do it with a grinding wheel score your line all the way up it like so see I got a line scored from one end to the other and just keep taking off material a little at a time but when you're cutting through you want to bring your grinder towards you if you're cutting like this you'll get jumped back on your grinder it'll kick back on you and it does it a lot so bring your grinder towards you as you're cutting and you'll be throwing most of your sparks out that way and then you'll have a little bit come back on you but not too bad I just wanted to show you guys that I had started cutting it with a jigsaw but only had one blade and uh, it popped off and went inside the barrel so <laughs> I can't use the jigsaw now so I'm gonna cut this out with a grinder and then I'm gonna try to cut the top out with a uh, hacksaw and make it a little bit easier a little bit cleaner you can see it's not a pretty cut I'm gonna have to clean it up when I'm done but it will cut through with a grinding wheel. It just takes a little time and a little bit of energy. That's so what I'm talking about, about scoring your line all the way up it. But just make sure you bring your grinder back on you and wear eye protection. You know, just because I don't, don't mean you shouldn't. I have eyeglasses, so they just don't have side protection. We're going to go ahead and get this cut out, and then we're going to start this cut all the way around it. Once we get there, I'm going to show you what we have.
Okay, so we got everything cut out of it. We got all the holes drilled. You can see the larger 7 8 holes that are right above each pin. I did two of those. I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but there's a lot of holes in the bottom of it. Uh, we got the door cut out. We got the top cut off. And I saved the top so we could use it as a cap to keep rain out. But we're going to bend this metal in a little bit all the way around the top so it'll fit on top of it. And I may end up eventually uh, taking more of the door out. It's 18, 18 inches wide right now. I may go 24 to 30 inches with it and just have half a barrel up top just as like a wind uh, screen and a little bit of a heat reflector and that's about it. So. We're going to get some videos done on this. We're going to make some homemade charcoal. Uh, do a couple of other things with it. We're not going to do any cooking on this because it had diesel in it. So that's out of the question for me anyway. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching.